the forms. But this next one is definitely in another realm. New specialist Andrew Adams shows us a very unusual work in progress inside a Utah County home. Right, Andrew? Dave, it really makes you think about what we're doing with all of that spare time. This family definitely has a particular set of skills, but their invention is something to behold. Some would be content to simply pass the time, but that's never been the reality here. I'm happiest when I'm building something. Caleb Chamberlain's home is a place of constant projects. It is a lathe. Meticulously machined in the electrical engineer's garage. There's always something. But the latest something. You're wired up. <laughs> yeah. Is its own reality. Okay. Virtual reality so synced to a simulator. You can actually see what he sees. He's flying in a little spaceship down a canyon here. Chamberlain and his two brothers designed it and built it from the ground up. And as he moves the stick, the, uh, the motion simulator actually moves in the same way that it moves inside the game. Even the simulation itself. Yeah, I wrote this. Is homemade. It's actually really fun to hover above the ground because you really get that sense of motion as you hover above the water. It's pretty uh, intuitive. You know what you want to do and how to do it. Doing it, as it turns out, isn't terribly complicated, even for a novice. Oops, careful. Ah. But if I like think hard, oh no, oh my gosh. It helps to be able to fly through mountains. Like my heart started beating fast because I really thought I was gonna die when I couldn't pull up fast enough. Hundreds of hours in and a year in the making. It's great. The first fully functioning prototype still has work left to do. And this is all pretty raw. Eventually you'll be shooting at stuff and you'll fly around dodging things and enemies. For Chamberlain, the project is a labor of love. I hope people look at it and think, I want to try it. Something worthy of all that time. That's the most rewarding time, I think. Again, still under development, so work in progress, but Chamberlain wants people's feedback about it. He wants community involvement. We have information on how you can check it out on our website. We'll have it up on KSL.com. See, that's, that's the kind of stuff we got going on down there in Utah County. <laughs> Andrew Adams, thank you, Andrew. Mike.